How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today fans are doing a bit of Wreckfest so uh, yeah here we are. I'm uh, going to go on Hellride again because it's a bit of a maniac track. I brought this thing along, what's it called? The uh, the Grand Duke. Uh, what we got? Suspension, not quite fully stiff because we're going to be doing some pretty big jumps. Gear ratio is long, differential locked, brake balance middle. They're on A so they're about as difficult as it gets. Yeah this thing's a bit of a beast, got some pretty fat armour on it. It's, uh, it's not too bad at losing wheels as well so let's give it a go. I've been trying to make this video for the last two days now. It's, uh, I'm kind of recording it a little bit different to how I normally would. I've basically got my headset on right now recording it live as we go. Whereas obviously normally with SnowRunner I get the footage and then afterwards edit it, voice it over and all that. Um, yeah, I mean it's interesting to learn this way but I'm kind of a complete noob when it comes to making videos this way. I'm trying to get the volumes right. It's a bit of a nightmare, and I don't even know how it's going to sound on YouTube, so I apologise in advance if it does sound, if the, either the game's too quiet, I'm too loud, too quiet, whatever, it's, um, I'm obviously, I'm dialing it in a bit, but I can hear it through the headset, and then I hear it through my TV during editing, and then I'm going to hear it on YouTube again, it's like, with different volumes every time, so I kind of just need to get a video made, get it up, and then, uh, yeah, hear what it's like, and I can kind of... Uh, dial it in a little bit more than that. I've ended up now turning the game volume down to 30 so I think the sound of the engines and that were kind of drowning me out a little bit. It's, uh, it sounds like it makes me quieter than it does when I do my live stream for example. Not too sure why but we'll get there anyway. So uh, yeah, like I say, we'll get back to for the hell ride. I was hoping for a little bit more smashing action by now. This thing can definitely crunch people pretty good. Oops. I'm going to cost myself. So I have to take a hit. Are we gonna meet someone? Nice. Uh, yeah, another thing I just want to mention quickly while I'm uh, floating around. Uh, I need to reply to a few comments on videos. Uh, apologies, I haven't. My phone charger is basically screwed and it keeps letting me down, not charging my phone. And when it gets down to like 10 or 20 percent, which it's been on for the last few days, because I can't seem to get it any higher than that. Um, yeah, every time I try and reply to a message, it just took my wheel. Not the rear wheel. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll restart quickly while I'm yapping on. Um, yeah, every time I try to type a message, the phone flashes up saying 10, 20 percent battery or whatever. I click close, but because I'm moving the phone the tiniest little bit, the charger's blicking in and out, and then it'll bring the message up. Like, I just I can't type without it moaning and telling me that the phone's in the flat and all the rest of it, so I, uh, yeah. two iPhones in ten years, but I've had easily a hundred charger cables, they just break far too often. I even got some charger cables called unbreakables, cables, but I can assure you they are breakable because I've broken them all the time. But I have to say, they're made of apparently, that was a beautiful keyboard, um, something like ultra high molecular density plastic, and when one of the cables finally gave away, I was just, I suppose, mad at the cable <laughs> by that point. So I tried to rip the head off it just to officially, like, yep, that cable's dead and gone, I'll chuck it in the bin. And uh, could I rip the head off it? Hell no, I've about garroted my own fingers on it. It's, uh, yeah, that ultra high molecular density plastic. It's a real deal. It should make something more important than cables like that. Space Oh, we're in the lead. What a beast. But yeah, I used to have, like, a pot of loads of cables I bought off eBay because they break so often but I've run out, I'm running low. I've just gone and dug, I've got 20 of old damaged cables lying around just as potential spares so one of them's working a bit better than the charger I had. If I get my phone juiced up to like 100% then I, I can reply because it won't keep moaning to me that my phone's about to die. To be honest by now I'm probably with a new battery really. It's probably four or five years old. Anyway, Back to our breakfast. Yeah, the whole idea. <laughs> I mean, I've ended up rambling on about uh, charger cables and stuff. But I was recording this kind of live, essentially, as I'm talking and everything, because then I can sort of more react to the pressures and what's going on. Like I said, it's not really the way I do it. So I'm just giving a good old T-bone in. Oh, that's nine first. Oh, my oh. boy. My oh. <laughs> this thing, in theory, though, it does hold on to wheels a little bit better. Feel good with it. I don't know why. It's, it's like one on the three. Oh, no. You rolled it. You couldn't handle it. It's 
I need to be able to lag that. So even though you take me, you can run in. Oh. Give it one more go, if not, and bring in something. I've already got it in mind. A little bit more heavy duty. But let's drop the hammer. Let's give it a fair test when I'm actually paying attention to what I'm doing rather than yapping on. Squeeze it down the middle. Clear some room, people. Normally it gets pretty hectic on this first jump, like I am too. Just get the whole right ring done. Troublemaker, he deserved it, trust me. He rings the bell. Like a bike rush. Road rash. Number in first. Easy. That guy gonna land on me. I slam the brake on. Oh. <laughs> gonna deceive he'd uh, wreck himself more than me, but it wasn't to be. Grave digger. He did my grave. And tail whipped him on the way past. That oh, worked. Well, well. Head on. Head on murdered him. Not murdering people. This car, I mean it well, it's a very strong one with all the uh, the right bumpers and everything on. But like I say, this game has a tendency to throw wheels off the of cars a little bit soon for my liking in some cases. But some of the weaker cars, it makes sense. Something like this, I kind of feel like I deserve to keep my wheels a little bit longer. You kind of got two ways you can die in this game. Obviously, your health bar in the bottom left. When that gets to zero, you're done. Or if you lose two front tyres or two rear tyres, you can actually lose one of each, like one front, one rear. Um, yeah, but like I say, with some things, it's like the Doom Rig, it's like a truck that's a maniac. And it should, it's got a big plow on the front, it should be better than it looks really. It loses tyres too quick. It's rare you ever get to the bottom of your health, you just you never have any tyres left to be able to drive. Luckily, it didn't lose any more. Uh, still plenty of time. That's the thing with how ride it's um, being first isn't a major worry. It's more can you survive until the end? Chances are not all the time, but if you make it to the end, there's a decent chance you're going to be in first. Even if you just sat on the side and did nothing. Oh my God, I'm driving like an absolute empty. Um, yeah, there's usually three or four people left by the end. Let's have a look on the. There's seven people, so six of the cars besides me. Means there's about 16 of them dead. I've got a live ball in me. Max Rusher, sorry, like a poor name, but he's, uh, he's cooking. Oh, he's losing time, though. I'm drifting. Still got my wheels, but we're all good. Jump some more. I wonder which way Max Rusher went. So I'm going to try and head on. There he is. Oops, you look where you're going. Eyeballs. Oh, there he is. Skimmed them. Might have spun him out, delayed him. Oh, we are. We are game, boys. Uh, well, there's only three of us left now. The guy behind me is like three quarters of a minute. We ain't got a chance. So we might have to just kill Max Rusher. Uh, there's one guy. Shoot, that must have been soon to be dead man number two, poison snake. We will chase down. Max Rush will probably just kill himself if he has such little help. I would like to kill this other guy though before we get a victory. Which way did he go? So this way, there he is. He's dropping on oh, what he went high, he knew. I heard the rumours. Somewhere. Oh, I see him. We're all crying for a head on. Can't escape. And, uh, oh no. <laughs> I've only got four health left and I lost a tyre. Well, the good news is, because I am the last person alive now, in fact, let's just go with this loop and down it, get a bit of a run up. 
And uh, yeah, the good thing with this game, if you can kill everybody first, now I'm the last person left, I'm just making sure I'm actually definitely first in terms of laps as well, because he's... Oh, well, this wasn't what I was planning. Uh, yeah, I don't actually have to finish the race. If I die now, let's just drop it off here. Really? That'll do. And we should still bag the victory. And we do. Good. Uh, I've got one more little idea for a go on this r uh, race track. I'll be back. So we're back. We upgraded. We got an even a fatter front bumper. This is the battle bus, and it's pretty good to be honest. You buy it in the tournament area of the game. Uh, for fame points sort of thing, you earn them by rate doing various events and that. Uh, it's pretty good though, the Doom Rig, like I said, the front scoop bumper thing on that's just a bit too weak and you still lose tyres. This thing though is actually built very well and you can uh, murder quite a lot of people. And it mostly doesn't throw the tyres off either. If you hit the walls and stuff, you will lose tyres, but... Um, yeah, if you just hit another cars, you generally keep all your tyres, you'll die when you run out of game that I've found so far. And I'll... I don't think there's really anything left to find. I've got a few cars I'm not driven yet, but there's no way they're going to uh, be stronger than this thing. Sadly, you can't tune it, so I can't lengthen the gear ratios or anything. It's, I mean, it's pretty quick. It's got a race engine on the rest of it. For a battle bus thing, it's pretty quick. Um, yeah, it's just it maxes out at about 75, maybe 80. Sort of downhill with the wood behind you, but... Um, yeah, if you can just lengthen them ratios and get it up to, like, 90 or 100. It would be very nice. So when you do this jump here never clear that, so you have to do like the little double jump there. Not that it really matters, but still. <laughs> Thought I'd mention it. So you're not, not what you want to do. That damage the wheel probably more than they're ever going to. But this plow on the front is definitely uh, a hell of a lot more heavy duty than, like I said, the one on the... Uh, the Doom Rig. The Doom Rig was only 30,000 fame points, and to be fair, it's not bad for a big rig type thing. Um, yeah, I'd say I'd definitely say this is worth the extra 20,000 instead though. I mean, get the Doom Rig eventually, but this is probably more worth it. Oh, head on, that guy is done. I mean, it's getting a little bit misshapen. You can see I took a nice little hit on that side, but it's, uh, yeah, it's faring a lot better than most of the things. Still looking pretty good on the health. The other nice thing with this, you get often damage suspension and brakes, but your engine and gearbox are usually pretty healthy right to the end. Again, if you crash into walls and that, that will change, but stay away from the walls and you're good. Oh, I went for it. Not one of it. Third. I was just going to have to kill everybody before everybody wins. You know where they all are. Oh, we're in second now. Somebody died. One eight seconds ahead, which means we can get a T-bone on him in a minute. For that one, uh, what the six? So me and five will lose. Oh, probably make that four, maybe. Uh oh. Oh, I'm on one health. Well, I'm in no position to be able to ramp people. I'm gonna say. Oh, let's give it one more quickie. Oh yeah, I don't know what took a lot of health to there, to be honest. I was absolutely smashed the crap out of people. That wasn't a very good demonstration of this beast, so we'll give it another go. I think probably the dodgy landing when I fell off there and hit the ground, I think that took a nice little chunk on before they can that ring. First, he is losing time fast. Oh, oh there he is. He is. He did that. Let's go this way. As you can see, the uh, 
to scoop. Well, it's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it has, it has been healthier, but considering the slaps it can take. That guy just served himself upon a plate. Absolutely ruining me on this one. Right, we'll give it one more go. Because that's all we're going to need. That's why. Right, what i got to do is probably just before I try to murder everybody. Because I think I'm trying to murder too many full health cars. Instead of just letting a little bit of the chaos unfold naturally. Which I don't know, you hit the ground so hard it almost lands back up on the ramp. Kind of plan B on climbing the ranks with this truck. Probably plan A to be honest, just kill everybody else who's in front of you. I mean, obviously, it helps when you have tracks that cross back on itself and stuff. You ain't got much chance of uh, keeping up with anybody in a proper race where there's no, no places to intercept them. Still 90% or 90 health. Suspension, engine, gearbox, and brakes are all looking perfectly fine. We've got two dead people. I could coin a sound head, sound head phrase, but I just got that pack. Well, I don't know, it's on the way down. I wasn't really paying attention. Something magical happened. Oh boy, he's not happy. Doing more flashbacks. Don't mess with the old ones. Train killers, they are. Look at this guy. What are we, four? Oh, we've got this in the bag. Mm, yeah, nearly everyone's dead. I've got plenty of health. Not a problem. Let's just start wrecking some people now. Old boy might end up wrecking himself. So he's not looking too healthy. I'm getting squirrely. Oh, is this guy alive? I would genuinely would not let me turn. I was trying to turn to that guy. Uh, he was just having another. This thing looks like it would be quite at home in something like Mad Max. Who needs a ramming? Okay. Oh, old boy, it's smoking. You can taste victory. Good job, this is in 3D. Do have somebody's eye out? There he is, he's getting squirrely. He's looking squirrely, quite frankly. Plan. But I'm in the lead. We'll take it. I think old boy. He's running on. Oh, thank you very much. I think I might have old boy as well. It's a free game of move. I can hear engines running, but everybody's dead, so I don't know what that's all about. Sorry, old boy. It was time. Here's the last one. He was panicking. Tried to juke me. So, in theory, the problem is I'm so healthy I'll be hard to kill. 
If I can splat this wall hard enough. Yes. See, we don't need to uh, finish the race. I killed everybody. So I still get the first. In the bag, I didn't get the fastest lamp, but to be fair, I didn't really expect that from uh, this thing. Yeah. Crunched it pretty good at the end. Then it finally lost both its tyres because we hit a wall. That's fair enough. But yeah, we'll probably uh, call it a day there, though. It was pretty good trying this kind of video out where I'm doing it live and that will uh, we'll get better at it like I say I'll get it dialed in apologies in advance if the volume etc is a little bit off but we'll get there I'm just uh, finding my feet with it all but yeah anyway that's about it for today though I hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching thanks for my Patreon members blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'll be back soon